Today we're talking about New Linux and some of the reasons that might deter you from moving to New Linux. Let's get into it. Welcome back to another episode of Chicago Suburbs Living. As always, I'm your host, John Sintich. Today we're unpacking some of the major negatives about moving to or living in New Lenox, Illinois. New Lenox is a quiet suburb of about 27,000 people. It's about 40 miles southwest of downtown Chicago. It has a lot to offer in the way of great schools, great community, things to do, but there are some negatives of living in New Lenox. In a previous episode, I cover all of the awesome things about living in New Lenox, so definitely check that out and compare this one, all the cons to the pros of living in New Lenox. Before we dive into the video, I wanna remind everyone that's watching that I am a licensed realtor in the state of Illinois. If you need any help at all buying or selling real estate in the Chicagoland area, I'm more than happy to help. All my contact information is gonna be in the description of this video down below. It's also gonna be on the screen. All right, let's jump in. One of the major negatives of living in New Lenox is gonna be the property taxes. If you watch any of my other videos that cover some of the other suburbs in the Chicagoland area, you already know Chicago and Illinois is one of the worst places in the country when it comes to property tax. It's just how it is, it is what it is, it's unfortunate. If you're coming from California or maybe New York, you're probably not gonna feel that as much because you're already used to higher property taxes. But if you're relocating from maybe Tennessee, South Carolina, or some of these other low property tax areas, it's gonna sting a lot more. There's just no getting around it. There's no hiding from it, legally that is. I don't recommend cheating on your tax. But you're gonna be paying anywhere from one and a half to two and a half percent of your property's value in property taxes every year. And this can really eat away at housing affordability. Sound off in the comments below what your opinion is on taxes in general. I'm sure we can have a civilized discussion about that. Another major negative about living in New Lenox is the lack of new construction under $400,000 in a, you know, a more median price point area, so to speak. There's just no new construction starter homes, for example, a three bedroom, two bath, maybe 2,300 square foot home that's newly constructed, that's gonna be less than $400,000. If you're looking for new construction in New Lenox, you're definitely going to be paying a pretty penny. You're not gonna be finding anything under 400K right now. Maybe if the government can maybe incentivize builders to build a lot more of the single family home product, we can bring a lot more of these homes to the market and put downward pressure on the prices. Right now, they just simply don't exist. There's been a ton of underbuilding since the 2008 housing crash. And so years of underbuilding has led to a lack of inventory, which has driven up the cost of these newly constructed homes. It could be possible in the future to see homes under 400K that are new construction. It's just not there right now. So if you're looking for new construction in New Lenox, you're gonna either have to accept that it's gonna be over 400K or we might have to look somewhere else for new construction. Nationally, this is an issue. It's not just in New Lenox. Anywhere you look near a major metropolitan area, it's gonna be very difficult to find homes that are new construction under $400,000 right now. Another knock on New Lenox is the walkability or lack thereof. If you want to walk outside your front door, walk to the grocery store, walk to a convenience store, maybe go grab a bite to eat, you better put your walking shoes on, grab a bottle of water, maybe an emergency snack, because it's gonna take you a long time. You're gonna burn a lot of calories walking. You simply need to own a car in order to navigate and explore all of what New Lenox has to offer. It just doesn't allow for the walkability of then living maybe in a three flat in Lincoln Park, you know, somewhere in the city. New Lenox is very spread out and you definitely can't walk around to everything that you might wanna check out. And for some people, it might be you. That's just a deal breaker. Some people like to walk from their front door to wherever they want to go. New Lenox just isn't set up for that. Here's a quick bonus con that I put in all my con videos where I touch on other suburbs and I tell you about the things that might deter you from that area. I put them in all of these videos. It's just such an easy one. It's the weather, specifically the winter. From about the end of November until the end of April, the weather kind of sucks if you don't like the cold. The winters can be pretty brutal. So if you're gonna be relocating here from a different part of the country where it's a more mild climate, where it's a much hotter climate, you're gonna be dealing with a lot of cold weather. So if that's a deal breaker for you, I'm not gonna lie to you and tell you, eh, the winters are decent, they're not terrible. The winters get very cold, snowy, windy. It's not great. So mentally prepare for that. Before we get to the last negative of living in New Lenox, I wanna remind you that if you're getting any value from this video whatsoever, if you're enjoying it, 
do me a quick favor, hit that like button and consider subscribing to this channel. Every week I put out more videos like this where I talk about all things living in the Chicagoland area. So if that's something of interest to you, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. One of the last deterrents of living in New Lenox is actually going to be plumbing. So I've done some research. I read a little bit about some of the plumbing issues that are affecting the southern parts of New Lenox and some of the western parts of New Lenox. I've read that homes on the southern edge of New Lenox that are not connected to city water, so Lake Michigan water, have some nasty smelly well water and there's iron in the water. Now you're going to need a water softener to combat this. Water softeners can help tremendously to make the water taste better and soften the water for showering and things like that, washing dishes. If that's not something you're interested, you really want city water, some parts of New Lenox are not gonna make sense. I've also read the west side of New Lenox, some of the areas there have a higher water table. And if you have a basement like most homes in New Lenox, you're going to need a sump pump with a battery backup and maybe even a second battery backup in case that sump pump fails. Because if your sump pump fails, you could likely end up with water in your basement very quickly. And the last thing people need is water in their basement. However, of all the homes that I've sold in New Lenox, I've never heard of any issues with water in the basement or anything like that. If you definitely want to be hooked up to Lake Michigan water, some parts of New Lenox might just not make sense. There you have it, folks. Many of the major deterrents that may make you think twice about moving to New Lenox. Overall, New Lenox is a phenomenal community in which to live. But if any of the things that I mentioned in this video are complete deal breakers for you, then New Lenox is probably just not the place for you. And that's totally okay. Either way, I hope you got value from this video. And I'll see you guys on the next one.